Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today I'm going to be showing you a nice little hack for getting your Galaxy S20 to run at 96Hz refresh rate. So this was pointed out by a user called Desolip on Reddit. I'll put a link in the description so you can see the original thread. Now, they found out that you could run a few ADB commands and actually set the refresh rate of your phone to 96Hz. Now, the reason you'd want to do this is potentially it will save battery, but you'll still have a smooth uh, refresh rate whilst using the phone. So anyway, these are the steps required. So first of all, your phone has to be in developer mode with USB debugging enabled. So to do that, we're gonna go into the about phone, click on software, click on software information, and then you will be in your software information screen. Now tap the build number seven times, and you can see down here, we're now in the developer mode. Pop in your pin, and the developer mode has now been enabled. Okay, so now back in the main settings page, we can see the developer options here. So go into there, and enable USB debugging. Click OK. Now my phone's already plugged into the PC, so I'm getting this pop-up here for allowing USB debugging. I'm gonna click allow, and then I'm just gonna go back and exit settings. Now, your phone must be, so we go back into settings, it must be in full HD mode or less, so we're gonna set ours to full HD plus. It does work in the uh, HD plus as well, but I'm gonna set it to full HD plus. And you must be set to 120 refresh rate. Now, once you've got all those settings set, we can just double check in the hardware, device info hardware app here that our phone is running at 120 hertz refresh rate. Okay, so we're all good with that. So now we're gonna to go to the PC and we're gonna set the refresh rate to be 96 hertz. Okay, so what I've done, I've actually made a little script here which will set this for you. Now you can just run the commands manually, those are in the description of the video, but it's a bit of a hassle to download the tools and get everything done, so I've put everything in this nice handy little folder which you can download. There's a link again in the description. It takes you to my site here and you can just download them from Mediafire if we just have a quick look, when you click on the green download link, you can download the zip file. Okay, so once the file's downloaded, you double click on it and just drag this out onto your desktop or somewhere where you can easily see it. Now I've already done that, and this is the result. So all you have to do is double click here, set refresh 96.bat, and you'll see it opens up a nice little window here just minimize this. Okay, so it's asking you to select one of the following options. So you can press one to set the refresh rate to 96 hertz, press two to remove the 96 hertz refresh rate setting, or three to exit. So we're gonna press one. And the refresh rate has been set. So now, back over to our phone, if we exit the device hardware info, and go back in, click on system, we'll see we're now running at 96 hertz. So I'm gonna exit this again, and then we're gonna set it to remove the 96 hertz refresh rating on the PC. So that's option two. So option two, you'll see it deletes a couple of rows of information that it's already inserted into the phone. So now, back on the phone, we should be back at 120 hertz, which we are. Now, if for some reason your phone doesn't have USB debugging enabled or something, you will get an error message. I'll just quickly show you. So if we exit that, I'm going to just unplug the phone. I'm going to try running that again. Okay, so we've got an error message here. The phone isn't connected and we know that. So we're going to plug the phone back in. Okay, so you see here the message to allow USB debugging. If I try a retry here before clicking that, it won't work. So I'm gonna click allow here. 
and then when we click retry, it will now function properly, and we can now set the refresh rate back to 120. Uh, sorry, back to 96. So I tried to put a bit of uh, error handling in there just to try and make it easier for people, and yeah, I hope it helps out. Now, before people start saying this is a virus, I'll just quickly take you through the script. Okay, so this is the script that you double click on. So there's nothing fancy going on here. We're just clearing the screen, setting a few different variables here, and then we're gonna build the menu system. This is the menu here. So these just allow you to select the options. So if you press number one, so if number one is pressed, we're gonna set the 96. So what we do here, we actually first set the refresh rate to mode two, which puts it in 120 Hertz mode. It must be in this mode before it allow you to actually step down to 96. You can't go from 60 up to 96, that doesn't seem to work. So we're gonna set it to 120 Hertz first, and then we're gonna put the peak refresh rate to 96, and then we're gonna put the minimum refresh rate to 96 Hertz. Then we just send out a little message saying it's been done, and then you press any key to continue, and once you've done that, it goes back to the menu up here. Now, if you set to remove the 96 hertz, all it does here is delete the refresh rate, the peak refresh rate, and the minimum refresh rate that we set. After it does that, it just says a little message saying, okay, setting being removed, waits for you to press a key, and then goes back to the menu. Now, if your phone isn't detected, this is what happens. There's a pop-up message saying that the phone can't be found. This is basically the message box here, which gets created in a file called temp.vbs. If I disconnect the phone and just run the file here, you'll see the temp.vbs gets created. That's just so we can create this little pop-up box to make it uh, a bit more user-friendly. And then once that's done, if it then succeeds and we do a retry, so if we press the retry button, goes back to the top, which is up here, it starts the script again. If not, if you press cancel, it just exits the script. And again, at the bottom here, the bye-bye is if you press option three and it exits. So nothing funny going on. I'm not hacking your phone. I'm not doing anything weird. I just thought this would be handy for people who maybe aren't that familiar with ADB and other bits and pieces because you only actually need these few files here, which are quite small. Um, yeah, less than less than two megabytes in total. So anyway, I hope that helps someone out. If you have any problems at all, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future.